So you want to start gotcha doing. These are the apps I use in video making. The other ones are just kind of random. Sometimes I use them, sometimes I don't. But sometimes I use them just for drawing, you know, other stuff. Since I use KineMaster and it's the most popular one, that's the one I'll be using. When you open up a project, you're going to see that little gear. You're going to want to click this. Go to editing. Make sure this is selected before you do anything in your project. If you don't do these, you're going to have these annoying black lines, so just do this before you do anything in your project. What you're going to do is take your character, make the background a solid color, and remove any like, props in the background. I usually choose gray because, you know, it works best. Probably don't choose a brighter color. And do not choose black. You're not going to want to use black. Let's screenshot it. Go to IBIS Paint, make a new, like, select the image, and... Choose any canvas size, it doesn't really matter. You're going to weigh and make it a little bigger to get rid of the black lines. Then you select the magic wand. You select the background. You also see if there's any gray spots still left. See this one right under the arm. And then you simply, you know, I don't know what I'm doing here. You just erase it. Oh, yeah, that was accident. You erase it. Erase the background. And deselect it. You're going to want to deselect it. Go to magic wand, click this, and then you're done. Uh, there is still... When you save it, save it as transparent PNG. First, you go to layers. You go to pictures, and then find your photo. Here it is right here. And it has a transparent background. Then you can just move it around and do whatever you want. You can make it have cool in and out. And you can make it, you know, do whatever. Personally, I don't like names over the head because, you know, real TV shows don't have that. If you're going for the effect of a real, like, anime type TV show. This is just a personal preference. I know, like, Go Ranger Smile Stamp has them, and that's my favorite kind of series ever, so, like, it's just a personal thing. I'm doing this right now. <laughs> it doesn't. It's not a bad thing, but if you want it to sound like really good, you're gonna need equipment. I know Brony Boy uses like a headset or something, so it doesn't have to be expensive, expensive. And you can do it without equipment. But if you do it without equipment, you're gonna have a little background noise, which is fine still. But it sounds better if you have equipment. Still, it's kind of optional. You're going to want to make sure your character is on green screen and no shadows because it'll look weird. Also, your character can't have any green in it, sorry. Uh, you want to take a screenshot and then you're going to go over to your project. Select the background first. I'm going to choose a random image. Go to layer and click media and then go to screenshots and find your image. Make it bigger. Go to this little thing and click enable. You can move it around and stuff. You guys know what I love about IBM. You can go to gallery, and you can make some things. Then you go here, have all these things right here. So one thing I do to flex sometimes, I could add these to make it look like a real anime. Or I can go to comic effects, like I did in the first episode of Wood Power Scouts. Choose one of these text bubbles. Choose a magic wand. And then find an image and pop it right in there. Then all I gotta do, um, unselect that thing with the magic wand. Like, we click this thing right here. And then, click back. Save as transparent PNG. Then you just pop that bad boy right in. But, I mean, you should probably do it as a layer, like. Wrong. Like this. Then you can flex all you want. Another way to flex is to do custom outfits. Right here, you're gonna have to make it as to remove as much clothes as possible. Ooh, ooh. Um, screenshot it. Open our friend IBS. Import the image into IBIS Paint. Sorry, the audio is just really bad. 
am kind of scrolling to get rid of those lines if you want. It doesn't really matter. It is not going to change. Ignore what I'm doing right here because I have no clue what I'm doing right here. Um, do, 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 Okay, then you just make this background kind of transparent. You just simply draw your outfit on. Make sure to cover up all those stuff you don't want to see because you're going to see those in the video. Like I'm covering up that little shirt right there. And I'm going to make this really messy. Um, you're going to want to color it in, obviously. You're going to want to go over the hands. You don't want to go over the hands like I did. Make the background transparent. Make everything transparent in the background. Remove the background. And then save it. It's transparent PNG. Then you're going to want to find your image. Did you want to put the custom outfit on? And then pop that really pretty dress you made right in. And as long as your character doesn't move too much, it'll be fine. This is why I make my dress is really flowy. Because if my dress is really flowy, then they can like move their legs a little bit without it messing up the dress. Also, this is why I usually make my characters with these dresses floating, because, or I also make the dresses short because you know then they're less to move more. 